Next up, I'm going to do the actual light panels. So basically, anywhere that's one of these, the, the armour plating, I'm going to do in a green. Now, unlike the under, like the frame itself, which has been done in this metallic green colour that I've shown in a different video, I want this to not be metallic. I want this to be kind of standard green uh, for that I'm going to use actually use Castellan green as my base now the idea is that I'm going to very slowly build this up what I am going to have to do though is I'm actually going to mix this with a bit of matte varnish as I go so I know some people like to not do their varnishing right away but i've actually found myself that what i can do is if i mix i'll show you now if i actually mix in to begin with kind of very similar to watering down this except I'm using a varnish to do it now I'm trying to be very careful not to get too much at once and then I'm going to start painting this on so I'm not quite watering it down in the traditional set I'm mixing it straight in with the varnish now I've done this in the past uh, I got some advice basically from a fantastic group on Facebook called Evia Metal if you've never come across them before I really do advise that you take take a look at them one of the most supportive little painting groups you will ever come across they are really wonderful people uh, and well anyone who isn't a wonderful person doesn't last very long anyway <laughs> so what we're going to do is I'm mixing the acrylic straight into the paint and as I said, I've done this with clothing before now, and it creates a, a very nice base coat. Because I'm using matte varnish, it's going to reduce the shininess of the paint. Now, obviously, I know some of it. Maybe you're watching this and going, "Come on, I mean, isn't this a something for pros?" This, no, not really. I'm not a pro. I like painting. I've done it a lot. If people want to say I'm good, then that's up to them. Truth is, I just enjoy painting. I've been doing it a long time. I've probably picked up some skills. <laughs> You can see as well, it'll dry very, very quickly, which is what I want. That way I can start my next layer very quickly. I'm actually hoping that you can see what I'm seeing from your end, this kind of nice, um, clean, crisp green. Of course, it's always difficult for me when I'm painting like this to actually work out if uh, the camera's picking up exactly what I think I'm doing. In 
can see here, I'm just, I'm not even using a wet palette, I'm just using a palette, an actual dry plastic palette at this point, because the acrylic is doing the job of thinning it. What I'm hoping the, what this is achieving in the end is a very flat green, nothing too, you know, excessive. I want it to contrast against the shining green quite, stir, you know, quite starkly. I want them to be very different. Okay, I think I'm just going to have a look at that in a different light. Okay, there's a couple of areas that I could do with enhancing there. just up here where it's not quite as even now as I want it to be just looking at it as problem is I've got that under a very bright lamp and I want to kind of have a look at it outside of that okay I'm happy with that I've got the color that I want to get um, obviously I've got a very bright white light shining down on it at the moment let me just turn that off so that it's just kind of shown up in the natural light and it's got that very like natural what I'm trying to go for is a natural green colour here okay so now that I've got that done and start thinking about my next colour now I want something quite frankly that makes me feel there's no other way to put it. I need to, I need something that makes me feel like I'm I'm invoking a forest. Now that's going to be very difficult. You know, I'm not used to this kind of painting approach. But I've got a bit of Lauren Forest here. So let's see what happens when I start to use that. So again, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to mix this in. And then I'm just going to start using it to... Pick out key areas of it. Now you'll notice that rather than stroking, I'm actually kind of more dabbing.
I don't know if this is going to turn out the way I want it to, but I hope it will. Let's see how that's starting to look now. Okay, so you can see that I'm trying to go for like a, a rough effect. So I want it to feel a bit sharper. I don't want it to be a smooth coat of paint for what I'm doing here. I have no idea if this next bit's gonna work. Um, <laughs> I think possibly I might be uh, uh, trying to attempt something completely and utterly beyond my skill level with this one. But I'm going to try and see if I can uh, push this a little bit further now. Just check if my Steel, my steel Legion drop is ready. Oh dear, it's not exactly... Um, solid that at the moment but I'm sure I can work a little bit of it go you know get a bit of it get it reactivated if I try Okay, there's my, uh, there's my first stage of that done. The adding the, the little brown. Gosh. I am 100% not certain if this is going to work out the way I'm envisioning it.
Go on, camera. Focus where you're supposed to focus. Fed up with having a rubbishy camera. Now I'm sure there's some far better painters than I would have done a better job than that, but I'm quite pleased. Considering that it's, you know, not quite something that I've uh, ever done before that was small. <laughs> right, and then let's start seeing how I can now take that one stage further. So I've got my Uruk flesh now.
Ooh, it's coming along, you know. I worry that I'm going to reach a point where I'll keep adding little details and I won't. I won't know when to stop and it'll take it too far. trying to have a really good look now. Liking overall what it's starting to look like. Mm, part of me feels like it needs pushing a bit further, to be quite honest. I mean, it's got a lot of positives, but I don't know. Part of me feels like I could add to that and make it even better. I think what I might need to do while I'm thinking about it is maybe just gently. Use a bit of ink on the other side of the leaves. Oh, refocus, please, camera. I think, I think I best off just accept that that is probably the best job I'm going to be able to do. Just maybe push a bit of that as over here. There we go. Hopefully you like my little um, attempt to do a nice green, nice leaf and a little tree motif on this night's panel. The next little thing is, of course, to um, do the outer edges of it. Um, got to decide what colour to do that. I need something that will work with it. Maybe a, maybe a bright colour like a white or go for a purple or something. Anyway, I hope you do like my tiny little trees that I've uh, done on this. I'm not, you know, I think that'll do for now until I get better at it. <laughs> 